Rafiki, karibu tena to our channel if you're already part of the family and if you are new to this family, karibu sana, you are very much welcomed. So today I want to take you guys with me to the river. I want to go fetch water, shower and also I want you guys to come with me so that you can experience what happens in our local village. <laughs> Like you're going to fetch water yeah, yes in african villages you put three stones and then you light your fire so this is what they feed on this is their food they are still babies with me here I have the tools that I'm going to use at the river this is what I'm going to use to shower to scrub myself in our language we call it gunia in Swahili language we call it gunia and in English it's a sack the sack that most people use to carry maize yeah, and groceries in general I also have soap that I'm going to use. I also have to come back with water for domestic use. So I just want to show you something. What you're going to use to carry water back home. And there's a way I have to secure it so that it doesn't fall down. This is how we usually do it. So you hold it like this in your hand and then you yeah you pass it around your your fingers like that and then a part that is remaining you insert inside here so the end result should look like this something like this in Lua we call it touch after you've made it you place it on your head but I already have a puff in my head so I can carry my pot like this or I place this one on top of it so if it's on my head like this, it cannot fall down. So come with me, let's go. So this is the way to our local river. If you are possibly afraid of dogs, you cannot pass here. There are usually dogs almost at the end of this road. So if you are afraid of dogs, you will definitely have to turn back. Before we reach the river, I want to greet my neighbors, so come with me. See their ball, this is what they used to play. The little things that matter. See now baby. You are playing, hmm? Guys, this is how people cook in African villages. You put three stones and then you light your fire. So you can either cook with this or yeah, I put like this one. But personally, I prefer this one because it cooks very nice food and it tastes so natural. Yeah, so I want to show you our domestic animals. At the far end, those are goats. For those who have never seen goats, <laughs> I know some of you have never seen goats. Yeah, those are goats. around here so that I show you the difference and then those are the toilets that we use nowadays they are a little bit more than back then we used just to dig a hole and then you do your thing then you cover it back <laughs> if you 
wanted to use a toilet you just put a place that people don't reside around then you dig you make a small hole just come close Depending with how heavy, <laughs> how heavy you want to release yourself. So you make a hole. I'm not going to go so much deep. After making a hole, you do your thing. After you finish, you cover it up. And then since we never used to have tissue paper, you just snap a leaf. But you make sure it's a good leaf because there are other leaves that are itchy. When you use, you start itching yourself. So you find a nice leaf, you wipe yourself with it, and then you dispose. So down here, you have pigs. These are still babies. <laughs> And we have the biggest one here. We also have a rabbit here. It is so cute. They are babies. People usually say that rabbits are wise. In Swahili, Sungura ni mjanja. They are saying babies. What are you saying? They have babies. Where are they? Yes. Come and see us. I didn't even know that that the rabbit gave birth. <laughs> it's very pretty. I traveled for a while, so I'm just coming back. Oh wow, this is so nice. There are only two. And where is the other one? The male one. Don't open for it. They will run. Ah, okay, okay, return it. Rabbits are so cute. So, this is what they feed on. This is their food. So, we use this to feed the pigs and the rabbits. Our little boy is going to show you how we feed them. So after they eat, you serve them with water also. Okay. Nazi chunga. Nazi chunga. Was it a Okay. Okay. So guys is saying that they are usually fed once a day, but you can feed them even like three times. It depends on the budget that you have for them. So you give them food, you give them water, and still you have to look after them so that they don't run away. Yeah, and also clean inside so that the place is hygienic enough. Because you see rabbits are white, so they have to maintain their color.
To access a washing machine in African villages can be very challenging. Most people in the village prefer to wash clothes using the hand washing method. So after washing your cloth in a soapy water and you are convinced that it's clean enough, you squeeze the water out, you squeeze the soapy water out, you put the cloth in another basin containing clean water, you squeeze it again and then you air dry it. You can air dry your cloth by either hanging it in a hanging line or spreading it down on the grass. <laughs> African traditional houses are usually constructed with a conical foundation and picked thatched roof. They are most commonly made out of mud and their roof is often made with grass with local materials. So it's around 9 in the morning. I'm a bit late for the river because people usually come here at around 8. No, 8 is a bit too late also. People usually come at around 7, some come at 6.30 yeah because at that time the sun is not out and the water is very clean so i really don't know if we're going to find people there but let's go let's go and get to see what's happening there the road is not very smooth but i'm used to it so just tell me the you're going to fetch water? Yes. Okay. Mm. Whistling is to emit a clear high pitched sound by forcing breath through a small hole between one's lips or teeth. Among humans, whistling language developed as a means of communicating with people from a far distance. On my way, I met a woman who was preparing food for builders. It was almost lunchtime, so she had to prepare something small for them that will help them regain their strength and get back to work. Skumawiki, farm. Kels. Most of you call them kels and maize. Let's continue. Go. We are almost there. Yeah, so guys, we are already here. Okay. I didn't expect this. Just show them. I didn't expect this. This is a seasonal river. When it rains, the water flows. It's much water. But for now, 
for now this is the situation we have over here yeah so i'll just have to work with this i'll just fetch some few water in this area that is a little bit clean yeah because i'm sure it's going to help somewhere so unfortunately we won't take our bath yeah because the water is little plus it's not moving it's stagnant which is not healthy for our skin yeah because even the water i'm fetching now we won't use with, for for household stuffs we will use it outside the house probably to do laundry or something So I want to rinse my legs because I've really walked. Just want to wash it a little bit. This is a leg bit, we call them anklets. They are locally made here in our village. Some people can sell them for 50 Kenya shillings, which is half a dollar yeah or some can also sell them for a dollar so I want to show you something cool in our village if you want to scrub your leg you have to find a stone somewhere around so I just want to show you something real quick before we go back <laughs> so we have to find a stone. Uh, this even looks like someone was using it and left it behind. So you find a stone like this. Assist me with this one. I showed them something. our soap the soap that we carried so this is how you do it I'll just show you real quick yeah so you spread soap in your in your gunia or sack in English after it lathers and forms a nice form like this Okay, so we'll assume maybe you want to shower. I just want to show you real quick. You scrub yourself with it. You scrub yourself with it. Like this. After that, you rinse yourself out. Then you take the stone. This is for scrubbing the inner part of your arm. So you step on a stone that is a little bit higher. Then you start scrubbing. You see, and it's coming out really clean. So you keep scrubbing and it's really working. See my leg is coming out really clean. So you scrub both sides, you make sure every part of it is clean. You 
if you don't want to get tired you can just sit somewhere you sit somewhere you hold your leg like this and then you you continue scrubbing until it's clean so you, you scrub both sides you rinse it out and you are good to go so guys we are done we are back home thank you so much for clicking the video if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing kwaheri and much love from kenya